he says, if you die in your sins, because notice here in Revelation 20, it is the dead who are standing before God being judged. Not, not those who are found in the book of life, but those who have their actions recorded in all these other books. And look at what it says. We'll continue reading in this passage. It says, And the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one of them, according to what they have done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire, and that is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone, this, this is a great verse, verse 15, and if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. And you say, wow, why is that such a great verse? Because in that verse, I find hope that those who are found written in the book of life are not thrown into the lake of fire. So those who die in their sins, it is a terrible situation to be judged by God because everything you have ever done is going to be played in front of you like a video uh, a recording of your entire life. And most of those things you probably don't want to be broadcast. But if your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, then all of that other stuff is erased. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Because he took on the cross of Calvary the penalty for your sin. And what must we do? Jesus tells these Pharisees here. You must just believe in me. Just look at what I've done on the cross of Calvary. All they had to do to be healed by those serpents was to look at the one that Moses was holding up on, on the staff. You say, that is so easy. Why didn't they all do it? Because there's something in human nature that doesn't want to come face to face with the reality of death. And we want to try everything to continue to live. Except look to the one who can give us life. I mean, you were bitten by a serpent. You probably thought, you know, I, I could, uh, I don't know, uh, bleed it out. I can try something, but... Looking at a broad serpent is going to make me live. And here today we're telling you that you have sin. And in your sin you're going to die. And you say, well what, what do I need to do? Do I need to go make every wrong or right? Do I need to go and, and, uh, and, and pay some money? What do I need to do? And we say, just look to the cross of Jesus and live. Yeah. Is it really that easy? Yes, it is. It is by faith and faith alone. Not faith plus works. Not faith plus go back and make every wrong or right. But just come as you are and look to the cross and live. There are three ways that Jesus ensures the people that they will die in their sins. Because they are earth bound. In verse 23 he says, you are from below, I am from above. Because they refuse to believe. In verse 24, he says, Unless you believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. And also they were willfully ignorant. Look at what they said. They asked Him, they had the audacity to ask Jesus, Who are you? And they also ridiculed Him by saying, Is He going to go and kill Himself? Jesus had made it plain to these people who He was. But here they are willfully denying that he is the Messiah. So firstly, you first you personally, first you can die in your sins, and secondly, you can die in the Lord. We will all face death, but how we die is whether we choose to look to the cross or not. The second way to die is to die in the Lord. And I want to share this with you tonight, uh, today, and I want you to be able to take this with you because. All is not bleak. All is not hopeless. For those who die in the Lord is a, is a blessed thing. Look, if you still are in the book of Revelation, look at Revelation chapter 14 and verse number 13. Revelation 14, 13 says, And I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, you got to hold on to this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. 
We throw that word blessed out all the time. I am so blessed by God. I'm, I'm blessed, you know, to have a house. I'm blessed to, to, to have my health, whatever it might be. But John, in the book of Revelation, says blessed. That word blessed actually means happy. Don't, don't think of the word blessed being attached to possessions because it's not. The word blessed used in the Bible means happy. So what John is saying here is happy are the dead which die the Lord. I have preached over the years lots of funerals. And I always tell funeral directors, I, I uh, always tell them, you know, if a family comes, they don't have anyone to preach their funeral, I'll do it. I have preached many funerals for people that I never knew. I never turned down a funeral. I've turned down many weddings, but I've never turned down the opportunity to preach a funeral. But it is so sad when I ask those who are planning the funeral about the person's salvation if they don't know. But the Bible says that those who die in the Lord are happy. Isn't it much better to leave the testimony with your family that they can say, you know, it is very hard to say goodbye, but I rest assured by Scripture that they are happy today. They are blessed because they died in the Lord. Then to leave your family wondering where you are spending eternity. Whether you die in the Lord or whether you die in your sins. D.L. Moody used to say many times he would, he would say to his congregation that someday you will wake up and you will open up the newspaper and you will see in the newspaper that it will say D.L. Moody is dead. But don't you believe a word of it? For the moment that you read that, I will be more alive than ever before. For I will have gone up higher out of this old clay body into a house that is immortal, a body that death never can touch, that sin can never taint, and a body that will be fashioned like the body of my Lord. He used to say that over and over to this congregation. Well, that day finally did come. And D.L. Moody, who faithfully served the Lord, a man who butchered the English language, a man who never even completed high school, that surprised him to some because he started a college. That day finally came and he was able to have his very last words of this earth recorded. And from his deathbed, he said, Earth is receding. Heaven is descending. God is calling. And I am going home. If this is death, it is not bad. It's glorious. The psalmist wrote in Psalms 116 and verse 15, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. It is a precious thing to die in the Lord. And in closing this morning, I want you to see the warning that Jesus gave. Here to the Pharisees, he said in verse 